Guilford. My name is Millie Carter and I'm here with Richard Shilhavy. Richard Shilhavy earned a doctorate in information systems from UNCG. He also has a BS in business administration from the University of Evansville in Indiana and an MS in information systems from Indiana University. So Richard, what brought you to Guilford as a sort of hook factor? I would I would have to say ultimately it came down to a combination of uh, the work environment and also the Quaker tradition. Um, I'm uh, fairly familiar with the Quaker tradition. My father went to a Quaker school himself when he was young um, and uh, interestingly enough I almost went here for my undergraduate and I had looked at the school but then sadly uh, moved to the north. So, I was, um, so I ultimately ended up not coming here, but it's kind of funny that I ended up coming full circle. But it's definitely the Quaker traditions of, you know, you know creative problem solving and uh, consensus building that, you know, really made me select this over other competing universities. Rich, mm -hmm. what do you hope to learn from students and faculty here at Guilford? I have heard that Guilford students are challenging. They're challenging in so far as they're they're critical. They like to discuss. They um, like to ask questions, and um, and so in that in that regard, I would like to learn to expand on those aspects of my courses, um, make them more uh, make them more critical, make them more discussion based, and also um, and also it provides an opportunity for me to learn as well. And now we're here with Jeremy Rinker. Jeremy Rinker earned a doctorate in conflict analysis resolution from George Mason University. He has a BA in political science from the University of Pittsburgh. He also holds an MA in Asian religion from the University of Hawaii. He has taught at DePaul University in Indiana and George Mason University, Marymount University, and Lutheran College's Washington semester, all in Virginia. So is there anything that you find sort of interesting about Guilford's values or practices? Yeah, I mean, I think they fit what my field of peace and conflict resolution, they fit very well. Um, the, the Quaker Testaments and, the, and the, 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 the desire to discuss in class, I've noticed. I've only had a few classes since I've been here, but in the classes I have had, it seems that all the students, or most students, are, are engaged in, in discussion. Um, and I think that, that you know, is, is pays tribute to the fact that, that the Quaker values of giving everybody voice and, and allowing for, for fair and even discussion uh, actually plays out in class. And now we're here with Leland Dressler. Leland earned a doctorate in English at Rice University and has a BA in English from the University of San Francisco. She has extensive publications, both fiction and nonfiction, including three novels, The Floodmakers, the Deadwood Beetle, and the Medusa Tree. She has held numerous writing residencies and conducted writing workshops and tutorials as visiting writer at Allegheny College, Columbus State University, and Westminster College. So, in terms of getting involved on campus, do you see yourself interested in joining any clubs or activities? All right, let me think about that, because in the first year, as you know, when you're new faculty, you really want to concentrate on your teaching, but it's also important just to immerse yourself right away. And one nice built-in I have already is that I'm faculty advisor to the Greenleaf Review, so obviously I'll be very excited and, and um, just assisting the students with doing something that's already pretty wonderful, um, so I'll be doing that. Um, I also want to just get involved with anything on the campus, boy, this covers a wide swath, that has to do with creativity. So any, any kind of activity, um, there's a project coming up where people will be submitting creative works of art um, on campus and they'll be uh, displayed. Uh, I'm really interested in that. And then there's one other thing. I'm a former uh, dancer. My first career was as a professional ballet dancer. And there is some dance here on campus. And so I'm curious about, you know, if I'll get my nerve up, you know, if I'll, if I'll get my nerve up and maybe go and audit or take a class or be involved with dance somehow on campus, um, maybe not in a really literal, physical way, putting my tights on again, um, but being supportive of dance on campus because that's another art form that's really important. It's not a huge presence here on campus, but it's there, um, and it's another another marvelous faculty for creative expression. So, yeah. I'm going to try to keep busy. So, while you try to get students to be nimble in the classroom, so far, have you observed a typical student type here at Guilford? 
or do you see the diverse student body that a lot of people think Guilford has? Yeah. Well, of course, I've only been here a week, right? But I've seen all my students. I think they've all showed up now. And um, I, hmm, I'm not sure I can I can say what a typical Guilford student is. Although I will say, when I before I came to Guilford, I had this sort of vision, right, of an open student, of an engaged student, of of a, of a student honestly with a certain amount of uh, confidence, right, and willingness. And that's really been borne out in the classroom. I would hate to say that that's typical because students are expressing that in different ways in the class. But I, I think I have that vision, and I do see that being borne out. Uh, we were talking earlier about what older faculty or more established faculty have done to help us new faculty feel comfortable here. And one of the nicest things someone said to me was, um, "You're going to love our students," and you know that's absolutely true. I mean, these I think you guys are a pretty amazing bunch of people. In terms of diversity. Uh, I'm seeing diversity um, of background, I'm seeing diversity of expression, and I'm seeing diversity of thought. I mean, really, even already in these very early classes, students, you know, taking up different positions um, and, and feeling comfortable negotiating diversity in the classroom. So I, I, I would say that I am, I am experiencing what I hoped Guilford would be. And I think I see also uh, a responsibility to help Guilford continue to develop and be that because diversity isn't something you just say, ah, we've accomplished it, you know, we have different kinds of people in the room, we're done. It really isn't just about that, right? It's not just about the numbers, it's not just about our different cultures or experiences or ethnicities. It's also about creating diversity of opinion um, and um, individual experiences for growth in the classroom. And now we're here with Dr. Michael Bruno. Michael earned a doctorate in biochemistry and structural biology from Cornell University and an AB in biophysical chemistry from Dartmouth College. He has held postdoctoral positions at the Duke University Medical Center and UNC Chapel Hill. He has also taught at NC Central University and has established a research and publication record. So, building on, you know, kind of classroom activities that you like to get students involved in and happy mm -hmm. to be in your class, do you have any advice to students uh, taking your courses or interested in taking your courses in the future? Um, yes. One, my first piece of advice would be don't be afraid of math. <laughs> A lot of students get afraid of math, and I teach chemistry and um, biochemistry, and there's math everywhere. And it's not that it's math is difficult. Many students think it's difficult. But the more you practice it, the more you do it, the more you see how important it is. And we, um, we use a lot of math in, in, in the sciences. And one of my uh, teaching approaches um, in the chemistry department is to use really active learning. And so the students are always engaged. And I don't like to stand up there and, and lecture. I like the students to be doing things. And so um, if you love exploration, you should take chemistry courses, um, especially here. Also, if you like to take your, if you're interested in getting your hands dirty, chemistry is definitely the way to do it. We're working in the lab all the time with lots of fun chemicals. They have lots of colors, and sometimes they go explode. Do you have any questions for the Guilford community, faculty, students? Do you have any questions for the Guilford community? I would like to know how the Guilford community has become so uh, special, um, which is the word that I, I've, I've come to associate with it. There is some sort of ethos here that makes the faculty and the students um, really, and the administration, really work together to create this place that people seem to seem to love. I know many alumni who have nothing but praise for the school, which is one of the reasons why I was drawn to it to begin with. Um, and I'd like to figure out why that is.